And today is the last day for the confirmation hearing for Judge Amy Coney Barrett. What's happening that'll put her one step closer to a seat on the nation's highest court. Good Thursday morning, everyone. I'm Kirsten Holmes. We start with breaking news out of South Sacramento. One person is hurt after a house fire. This is near Chris Avenue and Tierra Glen Way, north of Florin Road. ABC 10's Carlos Serreta joins us there live from the San Carlos. What can you tell us? It's her, Kirsten. I'll send it back over to you. All right. Thank you for keeping us posted on that, Carlos. 603 right now. More than 50,000 PG&E customers are now without power this morning. Now, this is spread out across 24 different counties. The area includes parts of Amador, El Dorado, Napa, Nevada, Placer, Plumas, Sonoma, Yolo, and Yuba counties. PG&E says power should be back on by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. That's Friday. The reason behind the shutoff is the dangerous fire conditions caused by the strong winds. Speaking of winds, let's turn it over to Rob Carlmark right now to get an update on the winds and our forecast. Hey, Rob. 6.05 on a Thursday morning, we're following a developing story out of North Sacramento. Police are looking for a suspect after they got a call about gunshots in that area. This happened last night along North 10th Street between North B and Richards Boulevard. As of this morning, the scene is cleared. But Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn says incidents like that are part of an uptick in violence that is killing innocent Sacramentans. Just yesterday, police said they seized 43 illegal guns and made 40 gun-related arrests in just the past two weeks. Chief Hahn says it's the result of a perfect storm of things like zero bail being rolled out during a pandemic. This is happening across the country. Chief Hahn says now that anti-police brutality protests aren't happening as often, he can redirect resources like adding officers to specific neighborhoods, getting guns off the street, and arresting felons and gang members to try and get the shootings to stop. 606 right now. Let's take a live look at the nation's capital right now. The Senate Judiciary Committee is holding a meeting, taking the first step toward confirming Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. After three days of confirmation hearings, senators are meeting without Judge Barrett for her review. A committee vote won't happen until next week. The full Senate will vote a week after that if confirmed. She would submit a six to three conservative majority on the Supreme Court. We've had two. 607 right now, now to the presidential election that is just 19 days away. The California Republican Party says they will not remove the unofficial ballot boxes that they place all across the state. That's despite an order from state election officials to have them gone by today. ABC 10's voter access team is investigating the story for you this morning. And Kevin John is live in Sacramento with what you need to know about this right now. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, this is a story we've been following for a few days now. We'll continue to keep you posted. Thank you, Kevin, for that live report. Now, that's going to bring us to our question of the day. Should the California GOP remove those ballot drop boxes? You can vote on our app or at abc10.com slash vote. And as always, we want you to join the conversation on our ABC 10 TV Facebook page. All right, 609 right now. Take a look at this. Ma Vang, a candidate for Sacramento City Council, says for the second time this week, several of her lawn signs were set on fire. Wow. She shared this picture on Twitter. We're waiting to hear from Sacramento police on whether or not there is an investigation underway. We will keep you posted. And tonight, both President Trump and Joe Biden will take questions from voters in dueling primetime TV events. A debate was initially scheduled for tonight, but it was called off after the president's COVID-19 diagnosis and then his refusal to take part in a virtual debate. So let me give you details. Biden's town hall in Pennsylvania, that'll start tonight right here on ABC 10. We'll have coverage starting at five o'clock. It'll be followed by a special edition of ABC 10 News at seven. After that, we'll have an half hour Your Voice, Your Vote special at 730. Now, President Trump will host a town hall in Florida at the same time on NBC. Recent polls show Joe Biden leading by a slim margin in the state of Florida. And early voting is now breaking records all across the country. According to U.S. Elections Project, more than 15 million ballots have already been cast all across the country. Here in California, more than 1.5 million ballots have already been sent back. And that is more than 10 times the number we had at this time in 2016. Okay, so by the way, if you have any questions about voting this year, we got your back. Text the word VOTE to 916-321-3310. We have a team working to get you answers around the clock. 611 still to come for you on Morning Blend. The EDD is in the hot seat. What they're telling lawmakers about fraud and a massive backlog of unemployment claims. 